Hey guys, welcome back. It's me, Brian from Echo USA, and in this video, it's going to be for a repair of the MTC. Um, symptom is plug in the battery. It's okay. You switch to basically it's a runaway gun. Okay, let me go ahead and take this apart and see what's wrong with it and fix it. Most likely, like the little spring for the sliding contact came off just from seeing how it doesn't shoot by it itself when it's on safe mode. So it could be just a loose part. And a simple fix, but troublesome. Okay. Little Allen set screw here. If you forget this, it's okay. Not the end of the world. This keeps this pin in there, which is already plenty sturdy. And like what I've done for mine is actually cut out the section right here so you can easily fit wires through or like the MOSFET like I've done in mine. And it just makes it easier to work on instead of like gently wiggling the wires through. You can't unplug it but it's all I need to work with room wise. Well, let me look at it. So, once I switch to full or semi, basically it makes contact here. So that's why it's not shooting. So it's something on the inside. Let me go ahead and open it and see what it's doing. So switch to the semi mode, kind of wiggle. Use a flathead to kind of wiggle and get the little selector part past the wires. Just be gentle and good. Okay, good. And okay, the gears are good. Taking off the motor. To remove this little part, I just pressed and the little hook right here came off. And same with this one, just kind of pop it up with the screwdriver. A little clip. Cool. And then don't forget the little plate on the top. For this, you can just pry. Be careful. You don't want to stab yourself. Kind of ruin the afternoon.
Okay, almost inside. Okay, I don't see anything broken or jammed right away. Just have it check everything. Looks good. Spring. Gears look fine. Okay. Trigger is fine. Ah. It looks like there's a little metal screw right there, which probably just vibrated loose from right here. It's missing. So. That's fine, the little cutoff spot is fine. Here is the culprit. That little screw just came loose from right here that holds this into the gearbox. Let me make sure the little thread isn't stripped. Just vibrated loose. Let me go ahead and put a little drop of Loctite on that, and good to go. Basically, when you pull the trigger, I'll zoom in. Basically, when you pull the trigger, it makes contact like that. But when you have something already jammed in there, like a piece of metal, you know, then you don't need this because it's already completing the circuit. So, quick fix, but headache. And let me go ahead and... Okay, and Loctite. I'm just going to use a little bit of red Loctite. Don't need a crazy amount. It's like one drop would be bigger than the screw itself. But just a smidge. Like that, that's going to be plenty. Cool. Tightened and good. And cool. Oh, and for the version 3 triggers, like I say, they're difficult. They are, because they're just like three parts compared to like the M4, which is just a spring and a trigger. You have this little extra crazy little part. But what I do is I put the spring in first. And then I want to put this post on the spring, and then the little gray part second. So I just kind of line up the hole, press in, and it's kind of like that. It's at a weird angle. It's not really 100%. Like on M4, it's like once you put it in, it's done. But once you put the gearbox in, it's good. So I just kind of leave it like that. And then when I put it together, it's kind of like a reverse latch. So if you hate reverse latches, uh, you probably don't like version 3's as well, it's understandable, but I, don't know. I guess practice makes perfect, but I bet you this one will probably jump up just to spite me, so don't laugh at me. I'm not saying I'm perfect either, I'm just saying, you know, if you practice a lot at something, you're going to get better at it, so... Oh, and also for the version 3's, make sure you don't forget this part when you put it together, otherwise you have to take it all apart. And, okay, here we go. So double check spring, a little spring on there, spring, spring, pistons lined up, okay, cool. Ah, see, told ya. Okay. Okay, move the bevel gear just back a little. Check. Okay. 
Cool. Good. Okay. Another way to check is make sure the little axle or post, the gray part, is good. You can pull a trigger. There is a little slop in it, that's fine. So, okay, cool. Go ahead and put the screws back in. Also, you don't need to take this screw off. You can just uh, leave it or Loctite it. A lot of you guys will take off this whole unit and lose this little part. And uh, you don't need to. So, let's go ahead and put it back together and see if problem solved. Should be A-OK -okay now. The screw is Loctite in there. I'm not going to go anywhere. And you can actually omit that screw if you wanted to. It does hold the wire harness in place only when the other half of the shell is not on there. When you have the gearbox shell clamp or clamp together, you know the wire harness isn't going to go anywhere. It just looks nice. Okay, let me go ahead and plug this in. Okay, so far it's not shooting. So before, when it was on safe, it wouldn't shoot. Now it's on semi, not shooting. Full auto, not shooting, that's good. Let me try. So semi works fine. Full auto, safe. I don't have the little selectors on here to lock that, but it's good. You go ahead and finish putting it back together, shoot some BBs through it. This part, there we go. This little part, cool. Just tap it, little hook right there. Good. Nice. Okay, I have the wires like that. You can't have it to the side, it's either or. And you gotta make sure this little pin, basically you can press it in by hand and tap it. If you have to pound on it really hard, it's not lined up. And also you want to make sure this little screw is lined up as well. If you have something off, like at a weird angle, it's not gonna work. Most likely this little fake little bolt release will be at a weird angle and causing issues. And also make sure that the selector switch can move freely on both sides. So when it's on safe, this part actually moves right there and it's good. Okay, now to test it with the lower on there. Safe, nothing. Semi. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back together real quick, and good to go. Okay. Pivot up like so. Grab the screw. And kind of feed the wires back through. And yes, you guys can change this with like any other uh, folding stock. Cool. 
Pop that in. And a little set screw. And if you have NTC, I don't know if you noticed little echo and trays right there. It's kind of cool. And slide the wires. With a little pigtail. Okay. And basically just tighten screw like so for this little screw. We just tap it like that, and that's good. Okay. This one's good. Just tapping these screws in just because they go clean through and they're only held in with the nuts. They're just rubbing on the, the plastic. And I, I can sit there and I can sit there and and bam. Oh shoot it. This. Let me just shoot real quick. Cool. And that's how you can quickly fix a runaway gun. Usually there's something uh, jammed in the metal contacts. You just have to remove it and good to go. Make sure you guys subscribe to my tech support channel and if it helps you guys at least uh, share with your friends or say hey I saw this video it helped you know it's been Brian from Echo and you say thanks for watching.